I'm going to show you how to connect Google Forms to Stripe to make a super easy payable form uh, for almost anything you could imagine, selling t-shirts, events, uh, maybe it's a payment form, order form, any type of event uh, or payment collection that you might have to do using fr the free Google Forms, which is amazing and super versatile, and connecting it to Stripe in less than five minutes for a quick and easy checkout. So if you've never used Google Forms before, head over to forms.google.com and create a form. Uh, it's amazing. Look for other videos on how to set them up. But generally what I got here is a Google form that I'm in edit mode right now. I added this image. Uh, I added what is your age category for my run event. I added what category would you like to enter? Beginner is going to be $20. Expert is going to be $50. I just uh, put this in a multiple choice question. And then I got some add-ons that you could optionally choose. I'm going to make this question required and these can stay optional. Okay, next step is you're going to need the payable forms add-on. So just go to the Google Workspace Marketplace and search for payable forms and install this add-on. So if you haven't done that, go do that. That's step one, super easy to do. Yeah, just click install and install it. Then when you're back over here in your uh, form, you will see this puzzle piece at the top. Puzzle piece opens add-on menu and I have payable forms uh, is the add-on that I installed. I'm gonna click on that and click make this form payable. So super easy so far. And what this is going to do is pop open the add-on sidebar. sidebar here. I'm gonna click auto configure form and sheet. What this is gonna do is this is gonna make sure that every time somebody submits my form, my Google form, that the data goes into a Google sheet. They also set it up so that email address is required and that is good. So close that. I'm going to sync my theme with my checkout. So that'll copy over the colors and styles with the hosted checkout that Payable provides. And then I am going to connect a payment provider. So we're gonna click this link and we're gonna get the available payment providers for the Payable Forms add-on. I'm going to choose Stripe. This is going to send me to the Stripe Connect flow, which will grant permission to the developer, uh, so us, Payable, to be able to create transactions on behalf of your account. So I'm gonna use this one here and I'm gonna hit Connect. This will return you back to our site and everything should look like this and hit Close. Okay, and what this will do is then show a connected account. Perfect, and you can close this window. Next step is you can close the getting started section and toggle this form on as payable. Make this form payable. And that is about all you have to do. What this is gonna do is set up triggers with Google so that every time somebody submits your form, uh, we will analyze the results looking for money amounts and then turn those money amounts into a checkout. Really quite cool and easy. So after that, um, what you can do here is you can see that this is in test mode, which is great. So we can practice a few times to make sure everything is working as we expect. Um, you can see some checkout settings and notification settings, but in general, you should be able to leave everything like that. You can see we're expecting a key and then a dash and then a money amount. So anywhere I put a money an answer that somebody chooses that has a money amount in it, it will automatically get added to my sheet. Okay. So let's give it a try. That was really quick and easy, but let's uh, see how this would look to our customers now. So that was less than two minutes. And what would this look like to the customers? We can click this preview button, which is the eyeball, or you can do send and get the link here. And this is a link to your Google form that you would send to people who wanna see it. So we can even shorten it, make it easier. So let's copy this and open a new tab and we will stick this in the new tab. Now we're looking at the form as if we are somebody filling it out. So this is awesome, looks really good. Okay, I'm gonna enter the 26 to 35 category. Um, not very good, I'm gonna do the beginner, but I am gonna take VIP parking and breakfast because I uh, am hungry. So let's hit submit. So this is the Google Forms confirmation page. And on this page, the add-on has added a, uh, a kind of a transition link that helps us grab the last uh, submission and get your user right there. So when a user clicks on that, they now come over to our secure checkout. So you can see here, this is our checkout that's hosted. It matches your look and feel and everything is there. 
and all of this data is um, shown on the form. So exactly as I had submitted. So beginner, breakfast, VIP parking, $52. So as you scroll down here, you will see the uh, hosted checkout from Stripe. And we provide you with some test cards while it's in test mode. So you can use any of these test cards to kind of go through the flow. But if you switch it to live mode, it is then real money. So uh, let's add one of these. Let's use the American Express and paste that in there. Uh, 1222 NECVV, four digit uh, M6J1P9. Okay, and you would hit pay. This automatically does all of the security in the browser. So nothing touches our servers, nothing touches your Google Forms. All of the uh, credit card data is kept secure and it goes directly to and from Stripe. You would see the Stripe checkout uh, charge ID here and the payment method, the payment date, and they would have their order ID be paid for. So like that, it is quick and easy. If you go back to your Google Form, and you go to your responses. And if you sometimes refresh the page, uh, you will have at the top here, this link sends you to the Google Sheet that these form submissions are going to. So I'm gonna to go to the Google Sheet and you will see here um, that we had our first submission, which is awesome. So you got a timestamp, uh, all of the questions that I had set up in my Google Form, you could have as many questions as you want. And then these columns are powered by the payable add-on. So we have our payable order ID, uh, the checkout total, uh, the status, which is now paid. And it was paid by Stripe using a card and an Amex. And there are my Stripe transaction IDs. Everything is done and easy and good to go. Okay. And the last thing I wanted to show you quickly was that we also built the Stripe integration to support recurring payments. So in my Google form here, back in edit mode, all I've done is added a slash year or a slash month. You can also add slash week to any uh, question amount. And our checkout will automatically detect that you're trying to create a recurring subscription there with that product. So um, I have another checkout here where I have chosen the monthly program. And you can see that we pick it up that it will be per month. And what we'll do is automatically create a product, a subscription, a plan, all of the stuff inside of your Stripe uh, account to allow this to automatically renew at $10 a month, each month automatically, which is really kind of cool. So let's do another quick test checkout on this one. We're using the Discover, uh, one, two, three. And I will hit pay. And what you'll notice this time is just slightly different. And what you'll see on the result page is a subscription ID and Stripe will automatically set up the program and this card as recurring. You can always log in and cancel it and manage any of the subscription details from right inside of Stripe, but we will at least get uh, it set up and get it going uh, with the card that your customer provided. So really easy to do both one time and recurring payments from Google Forms to Stripe, uh, really quick and easy. Any questions, uh, feel free to reach out to us at Payable um, and or ask questions in the comments.